Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, February 4th, I believe. It is the day after the Super Bowl, and I'm going to vlog today and actually be successful about it. I'm not gonna lie, I have picked up the camera to vlog within the last week, like, at least four times. At least. And I've never completed a vlog. I just haven't haven't been in it. And then I was going to vlog during Super Bowl weekend, and my husband's sick. My husband has not been healthy healthy since we returned from Florida in January, the beginning of January. And so you know that cold I got that completely derailed me? That was from him and he hasn't healed since then and now has something new. And for the first time ever he is not going into work today because of sickness. And that, that has not happened on my watch since we've been together. And that's insane. So you know he doesn't feel well. but. What that means for me is it kind of jacks up my Monday because um, he's going to be working from home, meaning he's going to be listening on calls he's supposed to be in on but not saying anything. So for me, that means it just things kind of end up a little bit weird. We He's still sleeping. It's like 8 o'clock or something now. And we actually, you know that mattress that's been living in our dining room? If you don't, our old bed, our queen size bed, has not left the house, but we don't have a place for it. So it's been kind of leaning up against the wall in our dining room. We had that set up. I'm not sure where he slept last night, but it wasn't in bed with me. And because he's just been so sniffly and it's, we don't know if it's a cold. We think it's a cold, but he was also complaining he was very achy, which means it could be something that resembles a little bit of flu-like symptoms. I don't know. I don't know. My hope is that I don't catch it, but I mean, I'm in the same house as with him all day, so I don't know. So today is going to be, ooh, this hurts my arm. That's, that's not good. Oh boy. Um, today is going to be a what I ate vlog slash just a day in the life vlog. So today is Monday. It is, you guys. We survived the polar vortex of negative 50 degree wind chills here in Chicago. And today, it's supposed to be almost 50 degrees. That is a 100 degree difference from last Wednesday to today, Monday. And I'm really jazzed about it. Outside, I'm looking, so much of the snow has melted because it has been over freezing for a couple of days now, which is incredible. Now, there are like four snowflakes on the forecast for the next 10 days, so it's not going to last very long, but I'm going to enjoy it while it does last. It's gross outside, so it's not like I can go outside and do anything. It's wet, it's gray and rainy today, but it's going to be warm-ish, which is awesome. So I am going to get myself ready. It is Monday. I'm going to go to Body Pump. I have, I went to Body Pump on Saturday, but because of the polar vortex last week, my entire workout schedule got mixed up. Like, I thought January was an awful month but February is not starting out much better so hopefully we can get this turned around I'm gonna keep my attitude positive keep trucking along and doing what I do and I'm gonna take you guys with me so happy happy Monday here we go all right my friends I'm back from the gym it is 1207 cardio check body pump check socializing with friends after body pump check I forgot to I, I literally realize I'm like, oh, I'm world's crappiest vlogger, vlogger, whatever you wanna call me, and I'm eating food and not showing you what it is. So for breakfast, as I was walking out the door, I ate a maple, whatever the waffle, the waffle maple waffle Quest Bar is. I'm trying to get through my stash of Quest Bars before they expire, and since we don't have any other breakfast food, really, my go-to sandwiches are gone. So I've just been eating Quest Bars for breakfast, and it's been working great. It was five points plus, which is awesome. And then I just got home, ravenously hungry, but I wanted to go out and get some stuff from Target for my husband. So I grabbed the last of my fat-free cottage cheese, which I had mixed onion soup mix into, which is my favorite way currently to eat um, cottage cheese. So I ate that for two points plus. So, so far today I have had seven points. I am considering going to a store and either, either going to a store and getting some good homemade, uh, homemade, store-made tomato soup, or not tomato, Oh my gosh, words, Brianna, words. Chicken noodle soup for my husband, but he's currently sitting on a work call. Six the dog, still sitting in on a work call. Can barely talk, but you know, that's okay. So he's having other people run his meetings, but he's still listening in on them and giving input when he needs to. Um, hard working man that I've got there. But that also means that I am not able to do the things I need to do, like communicate with him and be like, so what do you need me to get you? 
So I'm winging it, guys. I'm winging it. So I'm thinking about going to Panera and getting him some chicken soup there and getting myself some real lunch. Uh, but I gotta go to Target. I'm gonna get some Epsom salts for both of us just because I like Epsom salt baths and we are all out and I can mix my own essential oils into plain ones, which will be really nice. I'm just gonna buy some of that and maybe a couple more essentials from around the house because I did not grocery shop for him to be home this week. I was not anticipating that. So we're gonna go through food a lot faster than I originally planned, but that's what's happening. And I don't, I don't feel like eating lunch just yet, but I did eat my cottage cheese. So that should be enough protein to hold me over while I'm running errands. So let's go to Target. All right, here is lunch. Not exactly what I had planned, but that's completely okay. So I have, I went and got uh, chicken noodle soup from my husband at Panera and I decided to get myself some food too because it sounded really really good so i got tomato soup and this is actually half of their newest sandwich the bacon tomato grilled cheese which sounded so good and so comforting and my throat is bothering me so the soup and sandwich combo just sounded mm, perfection and then the bread for a side because i'm a bread addict i don't know how many points this is yet i will be finding out and i will be tracking it so if you're not you will find out later Oh my. Well, don't bite my hand off. Are you going to give it to me? Oh, oh. <laughs> She's so tough, guys. Whoa. You're insane. <laughs> you also need a haircut. <laughs> this is literally five minutes after that last clip. She spends all of her energy in a crazy frenzy, and then she passes out on the floor. She's still awake, but she just can't, can't even stay upright. She's so tired, she just flops over and is like a dead dog in the middle of the floor. Every time we play, this happens. Every time. I got a package today. This is something I purchased, not something that was sent for free, but I've decided to try one of my favorite Instagrammers on Instagram, obviously, wow, Brianna, is Mindy, and I'll, I'll put her thing right here. But she is, she's a powerhouse and she's very inspirational and she's followed the Weight Watchers plan and is very logical about it. But she uses these supplements and really enjoys them, or at least she uses the pre-workout ones. And so they were having a 50% off sale and I decided to give them a try. And thanks to the polar vortex, all of my mail was delayed. But they're here now and I'm super excited about it. It comes really weirdly packaged and just little little Ziploc bags. They used to come in jars, I guess, but this is a lot more A, cost effective, and B, environmentally friendly because it uh, takes up a lot less space, or at least it's more spatially friendly. I don't actually know about environmentally friendly, but here's what I got. So I got one of their bundles that has like their Avantra Slim whatever that you're supposed to take um, twice a day, I think, but I don't know if I'll take it twice a day because there's caffeine in this bad boy. But I got strawberry daiquiri flavored. I just, you can pick um, the flavor of like every 15 of them. So like it, in one jar there you pick two flavors, in two jars you pick four flavors, etc. So I got blueberry acai. I think I got two strawberry daiquiris if I'm not mistaken because I'm not very exciting. Peach mango and strawberry daiquiri again. So I got those. This is the stuff that Mindy uses and loves. And she is a pre-workout powerhouse user. And she dumps the stuff straight in her mouth like a pixie stick. And this is one of the ones she recommends you actually do that with. And so I got berry flavored pre-workout. It's got 100 milligrams of caffeine in it and all sorts of other good things. Wait, I can show you. This is the nutritional information for the pre-workout. So 12 whole calories. It's got all of these things that I can't pronounce in it, but it's supposed to really help ch charge you up for your workout, which is awesome. And in case you're curious, there's the information for the Avantra Slim. So those are the two products I got. And then they sent along, they make three products. They sent along a sample of their third one, which is a sleeping time one that has some melatonin in it, which will be nice because I don't take melatonin every night anymore. So now it'll be a special occasion type thing, which is great. So here's the information for that. And I don't know, I, don't, I know nothing about this brand. I just know that it comes highly recommended by Mindy, which is why I gave it a try. And I'll keep you posted. 
All right, checking in here. I did calculate the points of the Panera meal that I ate and the soup, it was, it was not points friendly. It was a little less points friendly than I actually thought it was gonna be. Um, I knew it wasn't gonna be points friendly, but yikes. The soup was nine points plus, and the sandwich, the sandwich, sandwich was not surprising, it was 10 points plus, but that was because it was a grilled cheese sandwich with bacon on it, but it was real good. Dipped in the tomato soup, it was like the ultimate comfort food meal, tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something about Points Plus that I've been noticing. I've been accurately tracking this entire week, which started on Friday, and I have been going over in my points to you know have a dessert or have a heavier dinner or whatever. I've gone over every single day. I still have weeklies left. Like, I'm sitting there going, I'm not like, like binging on anything but like I'm eating my cookie or I'm having my this I'm having my this and I'm like okay I'm going over I'm going over but I still have plenty of weeklies left and I'm remembering why points plus worked because you can have what you want and it seems kind of crazy and obviously this doesn't happen every time like if you do something insane, like go to a Super Bowl party, there's a very, very big possibility you will use up all your points. We did not go to a Super Bowl party. We ended up sitting here and I actually cooked a decent and healthy dinner uh, yesterday. That was just yesterday. Oh my gosh. Um, but so we didn't have that problem, but I'm just noticing, I'm like, yeah, I can have, I can have my thing. I can have what I want. And the, the weeklies go down. Yeah, but they're not gone yet. I still have weeklies left to do the rest of my week with, which is awesome. I know that I can have 26 point days, easy peasy. I also know that I regularly go over my 26 points. So the fact that I have that balance is really nice. And I'm just, it's amazing what happens when you actually track everything instead of like tracking breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then letting the night go off the rails. Not doing that and actually accurately tracking is proving to me that, oh, hey, this works. So. That's my two cents for this Monday evening. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I'm at my parents' house. We got Rachel and Dave going. The child is still sleeping. We've got that beast of a creature who turned one yesterday. Right, Zo? And we have my brat of a creature hanging out too. Happy Tuesday. Good morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday. It's almost nine o'clock. As you can tell, I'm not at my house. I'm at my parents' house. It's almost time to get the child out of bed. I am playing mom for a day again, which is fine. I think it's my last week, hopefully, fingers crossed, that I have to do this because my dad will get cleared to be able to lift things again on Saturday. Lord willing. And so this is last day of mom for a day. So we're gonna have fun. We're gonna be exhausted, but we're gonna have fun. My poor husband is getting worse instead of better. And at 4.30 this morning, he came in the bedroom because he's been amazing and hasn't slept in our bedroom since Sunday. Instead, he's been sleeping on the couch or on our spare mattress that's currently hanging out in our dining room. He set that up so he could sleep there so he doesn't bother me while I'm sleeping in the bed, which is so, so wonderful and kind and considerate. And that's that's just been amazing. But he came in at 4.30 in the morning looking for eye drops of all things and said, I think I need to go to the doctor. And I'm like, perfect, on the day that I'm not around to help you. Cool. Do you see what's happening behind me? Big dog versus little dog. What's happening, you two? What are you doing? trouble these two are trouble anyway it's tuesday i'm here i'm alive my poor husband is still alive and we're gonna have a good day all right friends i'm going to try my first avantra slim the thing that i hauled yesterday this is like the peach mango flavored or something like that i mixed it in with some water not a whole lot of water dude that's really good it's a little bit sweet, but the flavor is accurate and it doesn't taste like anything other than flavored water. That's awesome. That tastes really good. Peach mango flavor, 100%. Thumbs up. Good. Oh, get the child. Dude, you have got to calm down. Let's go get the child. Let's go get the child. 
Hi. Hi. Good morning, sunshine. Really? Can That's my that's my girl. That's my girl. <laughs> Hi. Alice, look at me. Alice. Hey. Plug. Yes, that's a plug. Has Alice. anybody ever called their pacifier a plug before? Hey, look at me. Alice. Alice, look at the camera. No, she said I'm a hey. hot mess. Hey. I don't want my picture taken. Hey. Good morning. Gracie's here. Oh. Gracie's here. Look at that. Look at that. Fa hi. Hey. Hey, hot mess. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi, baby. Good morning. You ready to come out? Yeah. Okay. This is what happens after a day at my parents' house with Zoe. She has not left this spot since we got home. Not. But her eyes are still open. Why don't you actually sleep, little one? Why don't you actually sleep? She'll lay there all night, too. Hey friends, it is just about eight o'clock. My husband has gone to bed and he told me, he's like, I'm gonna go to bed from like seven till nine and then wake me up and I'll spend some time with you. And I finally looked at him and I was like, why? Why do you want me to wake you up? Why don't you just go and sleep? Because you haven't been doing much of that. So I'm not going to wake him up. I'm going to let him sleep. I appreciate the fact that he wants to spend some time with me, but I'm like, babe, no, he went to, um, not the emergency room, to immediate care today and got some antibiotics. So hopefully we'll get a couple doses of those in his system and he will be on the mend and everything will be fine. We'll see. I just wanted to hop on here because I got a couple of fun packages in the mail today and I just wanted to share them with you. The, which you can't see. There we go. The first thing is this thing called Sweet Defeat. I've been seeing it online and I couldn't help myself. I wanted to try it. It's basically a little like mint or something that's supposed to help you with sugar cravings. And like, so it's supposed to help you with the cravings and it's supposed to make sweet things taste terrible, which means you won't want to eat them. And so it lasts for about an hour, I guess. I know not much about this product. I just know that I've heard of it. I've seen a couple of people that I follow have used it and I was very curious and they had a 50% off sale happening for, I don't even know what, January? I don't know. I got this for still pricey. It was like 30 bucks or something, but I wanted to try it. I'm desperate at this point. So it has zinc in it and Jimena leaf extract. I don't know. Could be fun, could be interesting, could be really useful. Don't worry, I will let you know. So I got that today. And then my second Yes Fit medal came. This was the Sleeping Beauty one for doing 20.8 miles. And this is, like I said, the Sleeping Beauty badge or medal. And check it out, it opens. How cool is that? Now, obviously these aren't Disney licensed princesses, so these are like the original princesses. But how cool is that medal? It's got the Sleeping Beauty and her prince, and you can close it up so she's in the tower. Oh my gosh, I just thought it was so pretty. So as I've said in the last couple of videos, I've been really enjoying doing Yes Fit stuff and I do have a discount code if any of you are interested in earning your medals um, for virtual races. That's all it is, so I'll have that information all down below for you. But I'm loving this. Now I have to decide what race I want to sign up for next. And the last thing, which I thought was worth mentioning because I got it today, I ordered another one of these off of Amazon and I say that because during the polar vortex I moved my entire office out into the living room and I plugged my this was the surge protector I had in my office and I plugged it in out there and I love having it out there because it's got the USB outlets in there and the three pronged thing which we don't have an easy access to one and that's how I have to use my computer and blah 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 this was on sale on Amazon for $18 and I love it. So I bought another one so I can keep the one out in my living room. So if you're looking for a good surge protector that has USB stuff built right in that doesn't break the bank, this is a great one. This is the brand, Trond. I don't know, I 
love this. Never in my life would I have imagined that I'm sitting here saying you guys should buy a surge protector, but this thing is seriously cool. So that was the third thing that came in the mail for me today. And on that note, guys, I actually think I'm going to sign off. Today was a great day. I hung out with Alice and she was actually not as much trouble as she sometimes can be, which was awesome. We did a lot of cuddling. She really wanted to hug me a lot, which was super sweet. Yeah, she was still a little terror at sometimes. We got a couple tantrums out of her, but overall she was very manageable she wanted to help me I had to go through some old music and stuff at my parents house and she actually sat there and helped me when I gave her something I didn't want I told her to throw it in the box and she threw it in the box and had a great time doing that she took a couple of the music books that I handed her and read them meaning she flipped through them to explore them which I thought was really cute but it was a good day eating was meh I'm not gonna lie, it was meh. And I don't know how you mamas with toddlers do it because it's so easy to just eat the same stuff that you're giving the kid. And Alice had waffles today. And I'll, I ate a lemon bar because my sister made lemon bars and they were good. They were real good. But seriously, I was like, let's have some cheese, Alice, because Alice doesn't like to eat. So anything that I can do to encourage her to eat, I will do. Usually that means eating the same thing that she's eating because she'll see me do it and then she'll do it, which works out well. So I had like cheese and crackers and peanut butter bread, which I actually had because I was in desperate need of something to eat. And I did bring some oranges, which she and I ended up sharing, the clementines, and which was supposed to be for me, but she wanted them too. So I was like, well, who am I to argue? The kid wants fruit. And, and so eating was meh, but it is what it is. And other than that, it was a good day. Mother Nature is angry with us yet again. So we went from polar vortex last week to everything thawing out the last three days. And tonight we have what is supposed to be one of the worst ice storms we've had in a long time. Cool. So I was going to go to the gym after the fact, but between my husband needing the car, so I couldn't go right after I went to my parents' house because my husband had to come and pick me up. We, I, and then the ice storm was supposed to happen at six. I was like, yeah, we're just not, but it's fine because I'm well over my 10,000 steps from chasing Alice around all day, which is wonderful. So I'm exhausted. My husband's asleep. I'm just going to chill on the couch, maybe watch some TV, maybe turn on the State of the Union address, but maybe not. We'll see. And call it a night. So I want to thank you guys for taking the time to hang out with me today. Take care. I'll see you in my next video and have a wonderful week.